to the 10th episode in a series of episodes that are focused on detailed revision of the 2023 GCE Science Paper 1, which is Physics. So if you have not seen the other episode, please check out on our YouTube. We've got a playlist that focuses on this paper to the detail. And if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing so that every time I upload a video, you get the notification. And if you find this video to be helpful, consider liking. By liking, you help my channel to reach as many people as possible, which is my intention of this. That's why I teach. I do not just give you answers. I provide detailed explanations so that you understand. So it might take a bit of time, but once you understand this, you should be able to take less than it half the time I take to answer these questions because you understand. Question B6, figure B6.1 shows a ray of light traveling from grass to hair at an angle. The refractive index of grass is 1.52. So we have this case. Question A, define critical angle. So here is just the definition. Again, it's important that we understand what the critical angle is. So when you're talking about the critical angle, we are referring to an angle of incidence beyond which rays of light passing through a denser medium to the surface of a lesser denser medium are no longer refracted but totally refracted. That's what it means. Put it differently, the critical angle is an angle of incident so angle of incidence in a denser medium so this is in the denser medium for which for which the angle of reflection in a less denser the less dense medium is 90 degrees. That's the critical angle. So we're looking for this angle of incident in such a way that this deflected ray is 90 degrees to the normal. So this angle I is the critical angle. Question B. Calculate the critical angle in figure B6.1. So the question wants us to calculate the critical angle. So now, just define what the critical angle is. So now, to find the critical angle, let us label some few things. So let the grass be medium 1, because that's where it's, the, the, the of light is coming from. Then the hair be medium 2, because it's in coming out from here. So this is in the process, it's inside. So this is the beginning point when you're defining in critical angle because this is the denser medium then this side is the less denser or the less dense medium so by Snell's law which describe the law of refraction so we know that the reflective index of medium 1 relative to medium 2 is equal to the sine of incidence divided by sine of refraction. Now, this angle, which is this is R, this angle is this angle. So, R is equal to 90 degrees. Then, I is equal to the critical angle we are looking for. Then, what is N1? So, this N1 is the refractive index of the grass, which is 1.52. N1 is a refractive index of air, which is 1. Then, we know what R is. So, this R is equal to 90 degrees. 
then we are looking for i which is the critical angle so now let us just now substitute in the snell's law of refraction that's the one that we are using so we are looking for this angle which is the i so now let us simplify this so what we have now is 1.52 over 1 is equal to sine c which is the critical angle we are looking for over sine 90 degrees so sine 90 degrees use the calculator is equal to 1 so this tells me that 1 into 1.52 is 1.52 is equal to sine c because this whole thing is 1 by this law of trigonometry so now i'm looking for c so to find c i introduce a sign this side i'm going to use the lead ink then we're going to have sine inverse then sine c so you notice that the signs because this is inverse and this inverse cancels so what i have is now c is equal to sine inverse 1.52 you use a calculator once you use the calculator you're going to discover that the answer will be 56.31 so c is equal to 56.31 as in the answer these are degrees Question C, state two conditions for total internal refraction to occur. So for the total in internal refraction to occur, you need to know these two conditions. These are the two critical conditions. The first condition is the light must be traveling from denser medium to less dense medium. So the light must be traveling from a denser a denser to less dense medium so it should be coming from a more denser medium to a less dense medium so maybe here medium forgot this in between so I think it's easier for you to remember so the light must be coming from a denser medium to less density medium that's number one number two is the angle of incidence must be greater than the critical angle so the angle of incidence this angle of incidence should be greater than the critical angle otherwise the total internal reflection will not occur. So the angle of incidence incidence must be greater than the critical angle like in this once you do that you are good to go question d give one application or use for the total internal reflection so one application for total internal reflection is the fiber optics where light is transmitted through optical fibers by total internal reflection so one is you can say fiber optics so fiber optics is such a use the other use are telecom systems so in case you ask for more than one you can say telecommunication telecommunication systems then you can also say optical finger prints so the fourth one you can say automotive 
rain sensors and windscreen wipers so the wipers for the car they use total internal reflection to sensor the environment and switch on the wipers automatically so thank you for joining me in this episode please join me in the next episode as we look at question b7